If you can read, you can succeed. Sounds simplistic, but it's true. And so is the opposite. According to the National Assessment of Adult Literacy, two thirds of students who cannot read proficiently by the end of fourth grade will wind up in jail or on welfare. Here in Palm Beach County, where only a little more than half of students meet that bar, that is too many kids that are being left behind. Yesterday, we showed you all the concerns in the classroom. Well, that has led school districts to put more pressure on parents to get involved in their child's reading education. And in many cases, they are failing the grade. Sound it out. Six-year-old Ganny is getting extra tutoring from the Literacy Coalition of Palm Beach County at the Bloom Center in Boynton Beach. We're starting him early uh, with the coalition because he's a, a few notches behind on the first preliminary test, so we want to make sure he is on task. Ganny, his brother and sister are all being raised by their grandparents. Well, we have three young ones, <laughs> six, eight, and ten, but like I say, they're worth it. It's hard. It's not easy. It's important. We're on a mission. A mission to make sure the kids can read at grade level. That's a lot harder than it sounds. There's a test to test kindergarten readiness. About half the students are ready, half are not. Kindergarten readiness is an emphasis for Mike Burke as he starts his third year as Palm Beach County Schools Superintendent. And when you get to third grade, it's kind of the same thing with third grade reading proficiency. We're, we're about half the students are proficient, the other half are not. And there's a very, very strong correlation between those two groups of students. The district is pushing for all kids to be kindergarten ready. So what does that mean? Among other things, the district says that students should be able to write and spell their own name. Students should also know the alphabet and know what sound each letter makes. And kids should be able to recognize easy rhyming words like cat and hat. These are all things the district says kids should know before even step foot inside of a school. They were missing basic literacy skills. As a school-based administrator in some of Palm Beach County's less affluent schools, Leroy Kelson saw too many kids who simply were not ready for kindergarten. Things like alph alphabet knowledge, um, knowing how to sound out basic letter sounds, they were all missing these things. So it was very hard for instruction to take place at grade level when they were missing all these foundational skills. And you've worked with kids that have no books in the room, in the house? Yes, yes. I've come in contact with students that have no access to books in their homes. The first opportunity that they receive to interact with a book is inside of school. And that's the problem. Expert teachers and administrators all agree. Kids who come to kindergarten without any of that knowledge are already behind. I think those are a lot of misconceptions with, our, with parents um, that they think school starts in kindergarten. But the biggest component and the first component of literacy is phonological awareness and that's something that can be worked on and improved upon from birth. So the Palm Beach County School District created programs aiding at getting students prepared before they even set foot in elementary school. It's really important to think about our community as a whole, not just the places that we oversee. School board member Erica Whitfield says getting to kids early is the key to reading later. That means reaching out to parents. We were sending emails out that actually had lessons that you could do with your student at home. So they could actually sit down and there was a, an amazing teacher in both, in all three, English, Spanish, Creole, speaking to the parents, teaching them how to teach their student. But former elementary school teacher and administrator Tara Wallace says the district is just shifting responsibility to parents because schools are not doing the job. It's like, oh, well, you know, they're not doing what they need to do at home. They're coming in low. You know, we cannot give them what they need because of what's happening before they get to school. And I do not believe in that. Um, I think that's hogwash. I think that's just the district being reactive as opposed to being proactive. So who is right? We took that question to an expert. Dr. Sunshine Moss. The whole idea that kids that aren't reading level in third grade are less likely to reach it later on. Is that science? Or is that a symptom of an educational system that is not doing enough for the children? I think it's a little bit of both, right? There are windows where things are easier to learn. And, you know, and that's that's true. But there's nothing that prevents children from learning to read it later. So the earlier you learn to read, the easier it is. If you're behind in kindergarten, third grade, whatever, it is harder to catch up. That's why the district is focusing on encouraging families to help and get books 
into kids' hands. That is the first teacher that is the best teacher, so our teachers can just come in and do the education, and the family is, is doing well on the weekends and nights when they're at home. Some families obviously aren't, aren't lucky enough to have that or be in that situation, you know, really? single parent home, maybe working multiple jobs. If a child comes to school every day and does the work, should they be able to be at reading level? Absolutely, yes, they should. So that is supposed to be happening, but the reality is in too many cases it is not. And frankly, teachers are overwhelmed and a lot of times can't provide the extra help that these kids need. A lot of kids, you know, they go to daycare or preschool before they go to kindergarten. So is the district doing anything to coordinate reading education with those schools? Yes, you know, they are. Any parent who's shopped around for a preschool knows uh, that these daycares and preschools can be a lot different. There are about 500 public and private preschools in the county. Whitfield told me they've put more effort into reaching out to each and every one of these schools to try to give them advice on how to get their kids kindergarten ready. Uh, but there's another issue at play mm -hmm. here, Sam, and that is because kids who have parents who read to them, who go to the right preschools, right. who get trained the right way, did all the work, everything is set up for their success, but then they still struggle on learning how to read. You know, a lot of these students wind up being diagnosed with dyslexia or other reading deficiencies, and they're not always given the specialized assistance that mm -hmm. they need, that the school district is required by law to provide.